Welcome back, everyone. Now, before we get started, I owe all of you an apology. That first video, that's not me. I mean, it's me, but it's not me. I was trying to be clinical. I was trying to be analytical. Because that's the internet I grew up with. I'm old as dirt. And when I first started watching video game streams and whatnot, they were informative. They were explanations. It's 2021. We're well past the point where I need to be clinical and analytical and explain every little detail. And that's just, that's not who I am. That's not me. I'm not good at that. Am I, am I good at Pokemon? Yeah. I've been doing it 20 years. Am I good at being a professor? No. So, this second video, the third part, we're going to start numbering them like this, though this is going to be part two, because that was the first video you got, because my dumb self lost my first footage. It wasn't impressive footage anyway. I caught you up fairly concisely. So, here on out, no pretense, no effort to be overly educational, I'm not a PBS special, I'm just some guy who likes to play Pokemon, I'm doing a stupid challenge, and I'm showing that to you. So, let's get in to the second part of the challenge. Alright, so what happens here is I completely forget what to do next. Uh, I'm going to meander around lost for more than a hot minute, realize that I need to heal my Pokemon, back down to the Pokemon Center, heal them up, and back up north. Uh, I really hate that particular NPC I just stopped to speak to, mainly because he always ends up right in my way as I'm running. So I, I talked to him to see what he was about, head down to the basement of the department store, realize at the moment there is nothing down there for me. Back up we go. I realize I don't have a radio card. So I'm going to go have to grab that at some point. Uh, I'm going to buy Ice Punch for the coverage. I know that there will be dragons coming up in a gym. I know the TMs are reusable, so Ice Punch is just going to be handy to have. Uh, I think I also at this point I realized just how off the time is. So I spend a good few minutes trying to reset the time and make it accurate. Now what I don't realize is that the way this mod is programmed, they've made resetting the time much simpler than it used to be. I'm trying to use the old method. So I keep hitting reset thinking it's going to give me a clock to use. And it doesn't. So when I go in and I try to actually continue the game, then it will ask me to properly set the time. So you're going to have to sit here and watch me be an idiot for a minute trying to reset it. There we go. There's the continue. I set it for the right time. Speaking of which, if you ever want to join me on stream, there's the day and typically the time. Back up north we go. And at this point, I remember that the pseudo Wudo needs to be taken care of. So we work our way through the park. Random encounter. We're just going to get some more experience. No reason not to. So I go up, grab some berries. Another trainer battle. Uh, Alan here is also going to eventually offer us his phone number. Um, I hate Alan. I'm just going to go ahead and say that right now. I think he is... An incredibly annoying NPC. Uh, I get the phone call from mom. Should have been a warning. Wasn't. But I registered him anyway because, hey, I have no one else registered my phone other than my mom, and that's kind of sad. Gotta make some friends. Here, the little girl tells us about the wiggling tree, which in 2021 we all know is a pseudo widow. So she meanders off. We head back down, and this is another point where I get lost, because it's been literally since the release date since I played these games. So I don't remember where anything is in most of these cities, especially not Goldenrod, because Goldenrod is massive. 
But we're going to go ahead. We're going to clear off uh, the Night Watchman, who is a trainer who only battles at night. If you only played during the day, you would never know that this guy was actually a trainer you could battle. I don't know why he only battles at night. Like, it really seems like a... Seems like it draws focus away from the job he should be doing. That's just a personal opinion. So we heal up. And here's where I meander around Lost. She tells me my Pokemon are cute. I don't need another bicycle. Then I remember up here, next to the gym, is where we get the Squirt Bottle. Now, for some reason, she won't give me the Squirt Bottle until I talk to her. So she can tell me that she needs to beat Whitney. So that I can go over here and tell her that I beat Whitney. So we jump through all those hoops. And we now have the squirt bottle. It's a key item, which we will only ever use once. And then here's where I realize that I don't have a radio card. So we're going to go in here. I'm going to fail to match any numbers on the lottery. And we're going to go through the quiz. I, there, there's not much to say about the quiz. If, you, if, if you've played long enough, the quiz is nothing. If you are brand new to a game, I do see that being a little bit of a challenge, a little bit of trial and error. But you have to remember, I'm playing this in hindsight with 20 years of experience. As a kid, that was probably tougher. Oh, thanks to Juan right there for subbing. That was cool of him. But yeah, as a kid, that probably tripped me up a little bit. I don't remember. But I was a stupid kid, so it probably did. So here we go. We spray down the pseudo widow and the weird tree attacks. Once again, another thing that they do in this game to throw us off as children, they keep calling Pseudo Wudo a tree. And if you weren't like a kid that buried their face in books all the time, you wouldn't get the joke with the name, with Pseudo being, you know, faux or fake. So he's a fake wood, he's a rock type. As a kid, unless you were like super book nerdy, you wouldn't have got that. So, you know, credit to Pokemon Crystal. They're keeping me interesting. All right, traveling up north, we deal with the twins. I feel like in Gen 3 and on, this would have been a double battle. Which is sad. I like double battles, and I really, really wish they would have introduced them earlier. Like Gen 2 seems like a good time that they could have probably introduced that. I feel like, though, with the twins being in the game, I feel like that might have been a consideration. And it might leak in the future that it was. We're still, even now, 20-some years later, learning new stuff about the first few gens of Pokemon. Which is one of the reasons why I love the series so much. There's so much that went into developing these games. I mean, the first one was held together with spit and good wishes. Like, it was a buggy mess that, by all accounts, probably shouldn't have functioned. And then they cleaned it up for Gen 2. And, in all honesty, if memory serves me, Gen 2 was supposed to be it. Like, this was supposed to be the the last Pokemon game. I don't think they expected it to explode as hard as it did. So, playing through Crystal, Crystal was... was it... Okay, I'm, I'm recording a voiceover cat. Moochie, do you mind? Alright, well, that's Moochie. She's introducing herself. Moochie doesn't like when I talk, but not to her. So, sitting here recording a voiceover, she is very very upset by that so any any cat yelling in the background you hear that's her all right we're up in ecrotique city now um i don't remember the gym leader of ecrotique city oh wait here's bill uh bill's going to introduce himself he's going to tell me where he's going and i'm going to promptly forget i will not go visit bill i will not remember where bill is i'm watching the footage back now i now know but sure enough, next time I boot this game up, I will completely forget to go talk to Bill. Bill, you are a lost cause, and I'm sorry about that. Back to what I was saying. Ecrotique City. I don't remember who their gym leader is at this point. Uh, I had a hunch and a hope. I was thinking it was Ghost. Uh, turns out I was right. There was also a moment where I thought Psychic. Speaking of Psychic, wait, okay, so last time, I talked about how we're going to train up the Psyduck into a gold duck for the psychic attacks. There's a problem with that. The typing doesn't change. Psyduck just stays water type when it turns to gold duck. Cool, whatever. I was gonna stick with it for the psychic attacks anyway. 
Turns out it doesn't learn any other than Confusion unless you breed it. So I'm not going to sacrifice the space on my team just for the Psyduck to learn Confusion once. Oh, here's you sign. I don't remember if you signs in the original. Uh, if he was, I hated him then too because he has a stupid name. It's obviously like supposed to like be wink wink nudge nudge Suicune. Uh, there's Morty. Just some more miscellaneous battles. I know what's coming up. I do remember this much. We're gonna have a rival battle. But yeah, no, Suicune got special attention on this one, which I always thought was interesting. Why? Of the three legendary dogs, Suicune was like the focus. Like the mascot of the three legendaries. It was weird. There were three legendary dogs in this. Suicune just drew the long straw. Work our way down. I can I can literally see my rival from here. That's something that always annoys me about some of these games, is when I'm working towards a goal, I know what the goal is, and they just tease me by showing it just like on the other side of a wall or a low fence. So we're working our way over, grinding out a few more experience points. And here's good old Biv. If memory serves me, this was... I guess it would really have to be the first game that really put a huge emphasis on tracking down a legendary Pokemon. Because Gen 1 only had four. And no one really talked about the birds. Oh wait, right here is a moment where where I'm heartbroken. Now, as per my Roichi Biff rule, the Gen 2 sprite has to be mostly the color. So seeing that Haunter right there put it in my mind that I'm not going to be able to use a Gengar. Because while, yes, I know that the Pokemon itself is purple, the sprites are mostly black. So my goal for this entire time was use Noodle until I could catch a Ghastly or a Haunter, and then evolve that up into a Gengar. I don't think I can anymore. And later on, when we uh, when we battle the gym leader, we're going to confirm my suspicions. So we may run with Noodle a lot longer than we thought. I'm also going to swap the Psyduck back out for. Um, for James, my Bellsprout. There's no reason to have two water types on the team at this point, especially when one isn't going to evolve into anything particularly useful. So, once we beat the next gem, we're going to swap out Psyduck for the Bellsprout. Uh, here's one of my favorite moments ever in Pokemon. Just plummeting straight through the floor. And then my rival just talks smack about me being stupid for falling through a hole. Which, I can't help but feel like a hole magically appearing under my feet is not my fault, nor is it a reason to insult me. Anyway, our legendary dogs, we run them off. Suicune in particular uh, hangs out for a bit, sniffs me, and also bounces off. And here's Usain again. He says he dug a hole here too, implying that he thinks we dug to get here. And I respect that about him. He doesn't want to assume we fell. He doesn't want to give a, he doesn't want to give our rival Biv that kind of satisfaction. So he says we dug here. And I respect that about him. So he's off. We're out and about. And um, there's a there's a good chance that this is the point where I got incredibly, incredibly distracted. Yes. Yes, it is. Um, we went ahead and skipped ahead a little bit to an important moment in this playthrough. But what what we've skipped so far, though, is that I have found out that I can travel to, like, three different cities. That's all. So Peter hits level 22, and Peter is going to evolve into Ariados, who's going to be our red Pokemon. Now, there was a judgment call to be made here. There is a lot of black on that body, but it is primarily red. The head is what saves it. So Ariados is now our red Pokemon. But yeah, no, um, we went ahead and skipped ahead again on a horrible jarring jump cut to our gym leader. 
Um, like I said, the only thing you missed otherwise is I figured out that there is nothing stopping me from going to all the other towns in the surrounding areas. So we made it out there, we hit each Pokemon Center, and here we are battling our gym leader, who is using ghost types, which is fine. Toby knows Bite and Noodle knows Bite. So I thought I'd have it in the bag. The problem is this Gengar and his Hypnosis. I'm going to burn a lot of time dealing with this Gengar and his Hypnosis. Because I just don't have a way to work around it. It's infinitely faster than any Pokemon I have. I can't get a good hit on it. What I want to do is get one slightly faster and try and muddy water it. Muddy water it, mud slap, whichever one we, whichever one we know, the one that drops accuracy. But we're going to run through this multiple times. I go, I spend my money on Awakenings, which I don't remember if giving to a Pokemon makes it use it in battle. Um, spoiler, we try it, it doesn't, so I have to use them out of pocket. And yeah, that's actually where we got stuck on this playthrough. We, we played this for quite a bit. We were at the end of the stream. So I just cut my losses. Yeah, right there. Gengar is mostly black, so I can't use Gengar. I, I cut I cut my losses. I said, next time we're going to grind a few levels. Oh, wait. Monitor went to sleep. Hold on. Gotta fix that. Uh, we're going to grind a few levels. Come back and, you know, approach it fresh. Approach it new. I feel like with two Pokemon knowing bites, it being super effective against... Uh, against ghost types. I feel like we got this. But, that's for next time. Thank you for joining me this time. I appreciate your company. We tried something a little different this time. Normally I record these voiceovers in segments. This time, I just put the video on, watched it, narrated over it, just ramboed it straight through. We'll see how it turns out. A little rough? A little shaky? Probably. But hey, it's a learning experience. I try, I fail. I come back weirder and weirder. If you want to join me, I stream on Twitch Mondays, specifically for this game. Try to get started around 6, there's usually some technical difficulty that holds us up. But usually around 6 is about when I start streaming. Feel free to come join me, I'd love to have you there. I love you, stay safe, and as always, God, you're pretty. Good night.